Zagreb and we're going for a little walk. It's one of our favorite races to come to. It's so such a unique feeling and a beautiful city and um, yeah I mean it's pretty warm so we'll see what we get for conditions on the course but still always you know been here since my first year on the World Cup so a lot of history with Zagreb, and we love coming here. We just found out that the race is canceled today, which is not the craziest surprise in the world considering how little snow there was, but the fact that they pulled it off yesterday made me feel like it was definitely gonna be pulled off today. So I'm like, I'm shocked, but I don't know why I'm shocked because it doesn't, it's not that surprising. But anyway, so the race is canceled. So now we're gonna um, ship on out of Zagreb and head towards Kranskegora because we are racing again the day after tomorrow, so train don't stop. Summering was one of those moments in life. I mean, I hope it happens again because I know that we have potential on the tech and the speed team to do one twos and podium sweeps, but it hasn't happened since 1971. And Paul and I have been training together. We got a good block before Levy. We got a pretty good couple days before summering. Um, it's not, we don't train together very, very often because I'm also trying to train speed, but we've been trying to get around each other for training more because she pushes me and I push her. And it's an incredible pace when we're training. It's really high level skiing and you know, one run she's faster, one run I'm faster. And that kind of pace and experiencing that sort of competitiveness in a training environment and then going to the race, it's like taking that one variable out of it where you're not, you're not so nervous about being in a competitive environment because you're already there in training. And it was really cool to have all of that culminate in summering with the one two, knowing very well that Paula could have won that race. And she will absolutely, absolutely will win World Cups. So I was not just like, oh my gosh, my teammate got on the podium. You know, what a lucky day. It's the first of what I hope could be many. And it just so happened that it was also 50 slalom victories for me, 80 total victories. The second hat trick, which in my opinion, the hat trick never should have happened in the first place, however many years ago. So the fact that it happened twice at the same venue is like, I can't really explain it. But those things, anything that I achieved in summering was really hard to grasp fully or actually put an emotion or definition to it. What actually helped me was sharing it with Paula. Like that helped me put an emotion on the evening that it's, it's forever gonna be stamped as the first one-two podium I shared with a teammate and such an emotional evening because of that, because we all celebrated together. It was such a different emotion than every other podium I've ever had. And I feel thankful that on a groundbreaking evening and race for me, Paula was there to make it something more special. It was really, yeah, it was just really special. <laughs> it's like we've never done this before. <laughs> okay. 
Can you take this? <laughs> Push the strength not to lose them. I take a, I take a video. Do you mind? No. Do you mind? Okay. You don't want a selfie with me. It's a All video right. or it's a it's a photo. It's a video. Did okay. you want to say something? Of course. Okay, it's going. Pozdravím vás na Slovensko do Podkonic z Michailov šipit novo za zahrebu. Ďakujeme pekne. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wanna, yeah. What did you say? Could have been really bad. And we yeah. What no, did... no, no. I say we are taking a picture with the uh, most successful uh, skier ever in uh, in the world in history. <laughs> Where are you say, guys from? We are from Slovakia. So that's what you said. I were from Slovakia. Exactly. Yeah, we are I heard from that. Slovakia, yeah. and yeah. we we are yeah, like, we are uh, you are you were blessed by God. And you were born because you 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 play a fantastic role in the in the world at the moment. A lot of cheer all over the world. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Thank 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 that was unbelievable. <laughs> I was like, God, this guy made me cry. Okay. Here we go. See you in. See you in Krasnogora. Beautiful. Yep. So we are on our way to the bid draw and hoping for good numbers. I don't know really what that means, but hoping for not 7 and not 15. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. 
I wish someone would tell me how I'm supposed to feel. What I'm supposed to do. What it's supposed to mean. I wish the emotion could be explained with words. But it can't be because it's different for everyone. It feels different for me than it does for my mom. And my brother. And the fans. And the team. I wish I could know how he would have felt. What he would have said. I think living a life without regret is a lie. Because if you're willing to try, you're bound to fail. You're bound to make mistakes. You're bound to regret. And somewhere in there, you'll succeed as well. When you fail, it feels like the end. When you succeed, it feels like the beginning. But in reality, we're all just somewhere in the middle. So what does history actually mean? Is it the past or the future? Can it be rewritten or just continued? Maybe history is also just somewhere in the middle. Thank you.